Of course, when you take human growth hormone, it's not only for building muscles, but you're going to experience a lot of more benefits. The first one would be enhanced fat loss. When you take human growth hormone, it actually helps burning fat for the very simple reasons that it promotes lipolysis, which means, in other words, the mobilization of fatty acids. And for instance, it's well known that if you take human growth hormone and then you go and do cardio, it's going to force your body to burn fat primarily in order to give you a source of energy. This is a great help if you want to lose fat while you are on growth hormone. The second benefit that a lot of people don't realize is possible with growth hormone is better skin. Now, remember that growth hormone increases what it is called cells turnover, and this helps immensely for you to have a better skin overall. And then there will be a huge increase in collagen and elastin, and it is well known that they are very helpful for you to have a better skin, especially elastin, it's responsible for the firmness of your skin. Another benefit of taking growth hormone is enhanced cognitive functions. This happens primarily because growth hormone is directly responsible for the growth and survival of nerve cells in your brain. You're going to experience enhanced plasticity and you can see this reflected in different aspects of your life. For instance, the memory. Your memory will work better. Better immune system. This happens primarily because growth hormone helps the work of the thymus gland, which releases the so-called T-cells, and they are essential for a better immune system. And also, in general, growth hormone will increase the production of immune cells in your body, so better immune system after all. It is also well known that you're going to experience faster wounds healings. If you've had a wound because of an accident or even surgery, it's going to heal much faster. First of all, as I mentioned before, there will be an increase in the production of collagen. Also, there will be an increase in cellular proliferation. And in this specific case, we're talking about fibroblasts and epithelial cells. The epithelial cells is the first layer of your skin, the surface of your skin. And obviously, your wound is going to close up much sooner. Another benefit of growth hormone is improved quality of sleep. It is well known that when you sleep, in the deepest stages of your sleep, your body releases growth hormone. The quality of your sleep will be positively affected. Another benefit that I can mention is tissues repair in general. This is also due to cellular proliferation and to the increase in production of certain cells, proteins. In the specific, for instance, we can consider the fibroblasts, chondrocytes, which are also important for cartilage and bone density, as I'm going to explain in a minute, and then eventually also muscle cells. This is by far the most important because after you have trained intensively and you have a lot of tissue repair to be done in your muscles, growth hormone can help you with that and can accelerate the process and eventually you're going to build up muscles more quickly. And also cartilage growth, because with growth hormone, there will be an increase in the chondrocytes. Those are responsible for cartilage production and maintenance. Another benefit will be improved bone density. This is actually essential because as we grow older, this could be an issue for most of us, also because the level of growth hormone unfortunately decreases in our body. And uh, with exogenous growth hormone, there could be an increase of that because of an increased production in chondrocytes, which will help bone density and cartilage growth. Also, I have to mention calcium and phosphate retention. Now, those are essential for bones mineralization. A lot of people tend to supplement. They take a lot of supplements, vitamins, minerals, and they can certainly help, but nothing can be compared to you taking exogenous growth hormone also for this purpose. Improved mood. Now, this is something indirect. It happens because if you improve the quality of your sleep and you have more energy overall, obviously this is going to have a positive impact on your well-being. And also keep in mind that growth hormone is also responsible for certain neurotransmitters regulation like serotonin and dopamine. And if you increase the level of those neurotransmitters, you will feel a sense of well-being. As a last benefit that I can mention is hair growth. Hair will grow faster, just like your nails, for instance, and this could be considered as a positive thing. Now, remember that hair goes to three different stages. The first stage is growth, in which hair is healthy, it grows, and it will regenerate very quickly. Then the second stage is very short, it is called transition. And the third one, it is called 
the resting phase, hair becomes less active and eventually dies and falls out. And if we take growth hormone, we can actually experience an increase in the first stage. That's why a lot of people actually, they see that their hair grows faster, better, and also thicker when they take growth hormone. And there is another reason for that. It's also because of the production of IGF-1, which is directly linked to cells proliferations at the level of the hair follicles. And of course, they are also very important for the quality of your hair. After mentioning all of those benefits, besides muscle building, I also have to make a disclaimer. You can possibly rely on that because you feel like you're going to rejuvenate and be much better even when you are 50 or in your 60s. This comes at a price because it's always a risk versus a reward. There are always risks involved with using growth hormone. That's why I never recommend my clients to use growth hormone for an extended period of time. For instance, some people want to do this for the rest of their lives without any interruption. And I'm absolutely against that because eventually there's gonna be also a lot of side effects and it's not anymore a good choice. It's also best to understand how to effectively cycle growth hormone so that you can maximize the benefits and minimize the side effects. This was all for today, guys. I hope I gave you a good overview on growth hormone and what it can do for you, and I'll see you in the next video.